the last part of this tutorial we just fixed the functionality for saving and loading and right now we need to be able to drop our items on the ground and we need to be able to pick them up again without uh, having any errors so we are actually doing this inside our inventory script so we need to open that script up and we are doing it up in update I think here we go so we can see I was uh, adding some comments earlier change this code later um, and later is actually now so now we need to change this code so what we actually have to do is that we need to add an item script and set an item on the dropped item so we need to say temporary drop because the, the item we're dropping on the ground is this item here temp drop and we need to say add component we need to add an item script and we need to say temporary drop the get component item script and then we need to say the item on that item script is equal to item dot item so right now because we say item dot item is because we're running through our inventory and let's say we have a stack of potions and we're dropping them on the ground so every single potion in my hand is referred to as item so I'm saying well I'm going to create a new item on the ground I'm going to add an item script to it and that item script is, has to refer to that item I'm using up here so I'm setting the item of item to item here maybe a little confusing so I think we need to do the exact same thing down here so just save this go down here here we go we can actually just replace this code with the exact same thing so let's save this and see what happens if we run our code and let's pick up some different things and well let's drop this one this one this one okay so now we have some drops and as you can see we are able to pick them up now I just hit something but and as you can see they keep their um, tooltips on them if I drop everything off here and I would to pick it up again you'll see that the tooltips still persist and they're correct even though I had them on the ground so that's what it took to be able to drop the items so before we end this tutorial there's one more little thing I would like to address because if we open up our inventory and we pick up some stacked items let's see if we can get some items that are stacking here we go we have two potions if I would shift click this and click two times so that I can't uh, split more so this is the maximum amount of uh, I'm able to split and I click OK then it simply just drops the items right away and the reason that it does that is because I'm clicking the OK button and it's outside my inventory right now so I'm not mousing over anything and then it just drops it and that's because we changed some functionality earlier in another part where we actually made sure that on our inventory here we have like this pointer inside and pointer exit event but that pointer inside and pointer exit event is not on our OK button so we need to add those events so click on the OK button and then click add component and find an event trigger and when you've done that you add that I already had one so I don't need to do it I can remove it and when you have that you have to click on the event trigger two times add new event pointer enter and add new event pointer exit and then you need to click the little plus button here to add a new field and the same goes for the pointer exit then we can take the inventory and drag to the empty game object here and the function we should pick is inventory pointer enter and down here in exit it's inventory pointer exit so when you've done that we should try again to play our game open it up and see if we can pick something up that is stacking just to check it out there we go so click on this click two times and click OK and now you have the items in your hand and you are free to move them around somewhere else without dropping them right away and just to make sure let's see if we can split this up we can put one up here and a health potion there and this one here and let's try to save this close up a game and open it up again and let's try to load and everything works just fine 
So we still haven't looked at the use function. So if we jump back into our script, we can just take a quick look at that. In the slot script, whenever you right click on a slot, <coughs> it's going to try to use the item. So it's going to see items.pop.use. And the use function is actually used in here. If we're going to go to use here. We can say debug.lock, not break, but lock. And we can say uh, used mm, plus item uh, name. So we can say used item name. There we go. And that's in the consumable. Then we can go to our equipment. And we can say equipped. This is not going to do anything yet. We're going to add some functionality later. So we will equip it for equipped item name. And the same goes for our weapon. Under use equipped item name. So if we save this and jump back into our game, let's pick up all some different items. Lots of swords. See if we can get some potions as well. There we go. Okay, so if I right click on my mana potion, nothing happened. Let's see. Okay, I need to go and check what I need to fix. And I have a good idea what would be wrong. Let's see if we jump into our item script. Maybe I haven't done anything in there. Here we go. Yeah, so here in my item script, I'm not doing anything. Use, I need to say item.use. There we go. So let's save this and jump back into our game. And pick up all our different items here. So if I right click here, used awesome sword, used awesome sword, used awesome sword, used chest, used mana potion, equipped iron chest, equipped iron chest, used sword, used sword. Yes. So now we have some functionality for yeah using our items. It's not any special functionality right now. Um, this one could also be equipped. But that's what should happen when we right click on we should equip it instead of just dropping it or, or deleting it, of course. Um, yes, so I hope you learned something from this and that you could use it for something. Um, as we discussed in the beginning, item script is the, is the script that goes on the objects here when we create them in our game, in our inventory we have them. And then item script contains an item it's one of these items here which has all the functionality in it so yeah that's how everything works so if you find any bugs or something please let me know and we will of course figure out how to fix them uh, but I think everything works pretty good right now um, if you're interested in the code and everything of course uh, go to the link in the description below to acquire the code and if you already bought it once remember you can just go and re-download it to get the new files um, also, if you're a patron, well, then just go to the patron page and download everything there. Um, thank you for supporting me and thanks for watching all my movies and please post some comments if you have any questions or something.